In the ancient lands of Africa, the winds of change blew with the arrival of Islam, a faith brought by Muslim Arabs who conquered North Africa in the 7th century. Like a gentle river flowing across the vast desert sands, Islam spread its teachings through West Africa, carried by merchants, traders, scholars, and missionaries. It was a time of exchange and connection, where African rulers welcomed this new faith, either embracing it themselves or allowing its practice within their realms. Across the Sahara Desert, Islam found fertile ground, weaving its way into the fabric of society. Meanwhile, in the East, Arab traders crossed the Red Sea, bringing Islam to the shores of East Africa. Along the Swahili coast, they settled, leaving an indelible mark on the region's culture and beliefs. Though peace largely characterized Islam's expansion, there were moments of conflict. Military campaigns, like those in the 14th century against the Christian kingdoms of Nubia, marked periods of tension. In the 18th century, the Muslim Fulani launched a holy war in the Lake Chad region, challenging existing power structures. Resistance also arose from adherents of traditional African beliefs, rooted in animism, fetishism, and reverence for spirits and ancestors. Yet, despite these challenges, Islam continued its peaceful march, spreading gradually wherever trade routes connected Africa to the broader Muslim world. As Islam's influence grew across North Africa, its journey into the heart of the continent was just beginning. It was the Umayyad Caliphate, reigning from Damascus in the 7th century, that wielded the sword of conquest, bringing vast territories under the banner of Islam. From the bustling markets of North Africa, Islam's teachings rode the camel caravans, carried by Berbers who embraced the faith, whether by choice or coercion. Like a river flowing through the vast expanse of the Sahara, Islam found its way along ancient trade routes, reaching deep into West Africa. It journeyed through the Sudan region, following the path of the Nile and the Niger River, touching the lives of diverse peoples. With each step, Islam left its mark, blending with indigenous beliefs and rituals as it merged with local cultures. In the East, Islam's journey was no less remarkable. From the Horn of Africa to the Swahili coast, Arab traders from Arabia and Egypt planted the seeds of Islam. Along the shores, vibrant towns and trading centers emerged, where Bantu peoples and Arabs mingled, forming a unique Swahili culture. Yet, in the interior of East Africa, Islam's presence remained elusive until the 19th century. However, Islam's spread was not without resistance. In Nubia and beyond, Christianity stood as a formidable rival, entrenched in ancient kingdoms and resisting the tide of Islam. Traditional beliefs also held firm, with many fiercely guarding their ancestral ways against the encroachment of this new faith. Further challenges emerged as the Masi people, guardians of the land south of the Niger River, clashed with Islamic forces, defending their territories against incursions from the north. On the coasts, the arrival of European powers, like the Portuguese, brought new dynamics, challenging Islam's dominance. Where Europeans traded, Christianity gained ground, reshaping the religious landscape of regions like the Kingdom of Congo. And amidst the swirling sands of trade routes and bustling markets, Islam found fertile ground in the hearts of African rulers. While some embraced the faith out of genuine conviction, others saw its adoption as a strategic move to bolster their power and wealth. In the bustling cities of sub-Saharan Africa, where the clamor of commerce filled the air, Islam's teachings resonated deeply. The religion's ethical code, rooted in the Prophet Muhammad's own experiences as a merchant, provided a framework for fair and honest trade. For rulers, embracing Islam meant more than just spiritual enlightenment. It meant access to a set of principles that could strengthen their economic ties and ensure the prosperity of their realms. In the Ghana Empire, Islam's influence was evident in the bustling city of Kombay Saleh, where Muslim merchants and indigenous believers coexisted. While the kings themselves did not convert, they recognized the benefits of accommodating Muslim traders and allowing conversions among their people. This tolerance paved the way for a unique fusion of Islamic practices and indigenous beliefs, shaping the cultural landscape of the empire. In contrast, the Mali Empire witnessed a different tale. Here, rulers embraced Islam wholeheartedly, recognizing its potential to enhance their legitimacy and prestige. From Mansa Uli's pilgrimage to Mecca to Mansa Musa's grand expeditions, Islam became intertwined with the very fabric of Mali society. Mosques and schools dotted the landscape, attracting scholars and missionaries from far and wide. Yet, Islam's spread was not without its challenges. In the Songhai Empire, King Sunni Ali's staunch opposition to Islam 
clashed with the aspirations of his successor, King Muhammad I, who sought to impose Islamic law on his people. Despite the ruler's efforts, the rural populace remained steadfast in their traditional beliefs, resisting the tide of change. However, the adoption of Islam brought more than just religious transformation. It opened doors to diplomacy, literacy, and intellectual exchange. Through diplomatic embassies and scholarly exchanges, African rulers forged connections with the wider Mediterranean world, enhancing their prestige and influence. Despite the spread of Islam across Africa, ancient indigenous beliefs continued to persist, particularly in rural areas. Travelers like Ibn Battuta, who journeyed to Mali in the 14th century, noted the coexistence of Islamic practices with indigenous customs. This dual religious landscape posed challenges to the widespread acceptance of Islam, especially when Islamic studies were conducted in Arabic rather than native languages. African rulers, recognizing the deep-seated attachment of their people to traditional beliefs, often navigated a delicate balance between embracing Islam and preserving indigenous practices. Even in regions like the Swahili coast, where Islam found greater success, remnants of indigenous spiritual beliefs endured. Ancestor worship, appeasement of spirits, and burial customs persisted alongside Islamic rituals. The impact of Islam on African societies was profound and varied. While some groups, like metalworkers, experienced a decline in status, others gained prestige through their association with Islam. Yet, the adoption of Islamic law sometimes led to shifts in gender roles and family structures, with matrilineal societies transitioning to patrilineal systems. Cultural changes brought about by Islam extended beyond religious practices. Names were adapted to Islamic conventions, clothing styles evolved to reflect modesty, and architectural styles incorporated Islamic motifs. However, mosques in Africa often deviated from traditional Islamic designs, reflecting local influences and preferences. The spread of Islam also brought technical innovations, including advancements in writing, mathematics, and weights and measures. Muslim scholars, missionaries, and travelers played pivotal roles in disseminating knowledge and documenting African life. Their observations, along with archaeological findings, have been instrumental in reconstructing Africa's history. As Islam continued to weave its way into the fabric of African societies, it also left an indelible mark on the continent's cultural landscape. The spread of Islamic architecture, knowledge, and social practices transformed Africa in profound ways. Mosques became not only places of worship, but also centers of learning and community gatherings. Architectural marvels like the Great Mosque of Timbuktu stood as testaments to the blending of local traditions with Islamic aesthetics. The teachings of Islam brought about advancements in education, with schools and universities emerging as hubs of intellectual exchange. In addition to tangible contributions, Islam fostered a spirit of tolerance and cooperation among diverse communities. While differences persisted, the shared adherence to Islamic principles fostered a sense of unity and mutual respect. This spirit of collaboration laid the foundation for vibrant cultural exchanges and peaceful coexistence. Over time, the influence of Islam continued to expand, transcending geographical boundaries and shaping the course of African history. Its legacy endured through centuries, 